What's going on, y'all? Doug here. Uh, so every year, there's always a new show that catches my attention. This week, it happened to be a particular show that reminded me of a different world, but for this generation. I'm talking about The Quad on BET. You know, one, it's about uh, black college life. A different world was about black college life. Uh, I mean, the two are pretty much synonymous, synonymous uh, tongue twisted there. Funny enough, uh, Jasmine Guy, who played Whitley on A Different World, stars in this show. Now, why this show hits home for me, because, you know, nothing is more beautiful than seeing intellectual blacks, you know, blacks who want to further their ed education, you know, higher learning. But the twist about me is I didn't go to a black college myself. Uh, my father did, and my older brother did. My father went to Howard, you know, the, the, the top tier of HBCUs, and my brother went to uh, Dillard University in New Orleans. So with all that being said, uh, as I do with all my reviews, I give my likes, my dislikes, and just my overall opinion. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what I liked, I liked Anika Noni Rose's role as Eva Fletcher, you know, the new dean. Another little frat party uh, when the, the frat brothers are playing that uh, strip game with... Uh, the dean's daughter. Yep, that's pretty much college in a nutshell. Well, freshman year in a nutshell. <laughs> and I also liked how they explored uh, whites going to black colleges. Because they tried that on the first season of Different World when Marissa Tamay's character. But then after the first season, her character just, you know, up and left. I mean, they never even mentioned her name the following season. So, eh. But then I saw an interview uh, where Debbie Allen said uh, she actually wanted Marissa Tamay to stay on because she had so many stories that they were going to delve into. But... You obviously seen what happened, <laughs> the end result. You know, like her and Dwayne were going to eventually date, and then uh, during the Thanksgiving or Christmas episode, uh, uh, you know, he, Dwayne was going to bring Marissa Tomei's character to, you know, meet his mother, who was played by Patti LaBelle, and, you know, y'all know how black mothers are when their sons date outside their race. And the thing about that is, if I could talk about a different world real quick before I get back to uh, talking about the quad, uh, during the first season uh, of A Different World, they never really tackled the fact that it was a black college so that's why I kind of felt out of place and some viewers are like well, why is that white girl there ain't it supposed to be a black college so with this particular show the quad it, it's cool to see how they blend in well not necessarily blend in but try to adapt to this new environment you know you have the the white football player and then you have the white average student <laughs> so what did I dislike I really didn't like the way the the uh, staff member who was part of the school board and the band leader were going against uh Anika Noni Rose's character, Eva, like, you know, it's two brothers going against a black woman, like, you know, the, the whole crabs in a barrel mentality, like, I didn't really like that, you know, you should be happy for her, like, man, I know they, I, I don't know, they, I guess, you know, that whole men thing, you know, about a woman being in charge, you know, some people have, have that mentality, and some people have that opinion, but, I mean, come on, man, we're all fighting the same war, that's just my opinion. I didn't like when the rapper kid left his girlfriend, uh, just to give uh, a rapper who didn't want his uh, work to begin with uh, uh, his uh, demo. And all of a sudden, uh, when the rapper uh, had his bodyguard, you know, throw his demo away, he takes off on DC Youngfly for no reason. Like, I understand that you're mad. I mean, we've all been there, but, you know, I wouldn't, I mean, I guess, you, you know, when you're angry, you know, your, your mind is just... <laughs> All over the place, scattered. But really made me angry was the fact that his girlfriend got killed. Like, oh man, you should have been there, bruh. Like, you know, you'll have plenty of opportunities to share your music with the folks. But, you know, you know that's why, you know, I love celebrities. But, you know, when I try to show my work, I mean, it'd be nice to, to get an opportunity. But, you know, from the meantime, you just got to work hard. And hope to God that it pays off. Now, the ultimate thing I didn't like. I didn't like how the girl, Noonie, Rumi. Uh, the girl who played saxophone uh, and had a roommate who played sax as well and got jumped or beat by one of the frat brothers, uh, well, one of the band leaders. Um, I didn't like how she took her spot. I mean, granted, it, it is an open opportunity, and obviously uh, Ebony, that was her name, who uh, got uh, injured during that uh, encounter, uh, is in the hospital, and so the spot was open. And so Nooney uh, took that spot because she told Eva, and Nick Rose's character, about why she's in the hospital, and then all of a sudden she changes up after she sees the DA, you know, the district attorney, and then when Anika Noni Rose goes to uh, Noni and Ebony's room, the band leader is there, and I guess he offered her that spot, and then Noni took it, like, you know, pretty much it was a big fuck you to Ebony. So overall, I was entertained. I give this episode a 5 out of 5. I just found another new weekly show to review. Uh, have you guys seen this show? Uh, did you go to a black college? Did you go to college at all? Do you plan on going to a black college? Do you plan on going to college at all? <laughs> Let me know what the comments below. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and like always, deuces.
and a mind is a terrible thing to waste.